Hey folks, Jen or Murgriffin here, and we're going to take a look, quick look at the XTAR WP6-2 charger, which is a lot like the WP2 that I looked at a few weeks ago, except this one has six bays for charging batteries. Let's see what we get. Here's a look at what you get with your XTAR WP6 Lion battery charger box. side of the box. Whoa, focus. Multifunctional intelligent 10440, 14500, lots of batteries. Anyway, you get a little guarantee card. You get your WP62 charger manual. Your basic instructions and specifications. Notice that the constant current charge is a roughly 600 milliamps and the pulse charging, which is when you have a battery in both parts of a, a pair, is about 1200. That does make this a little different from the other one. So you have car charger. Oh, that was useful going to Chicago. You have wall charger. Now this is a 12 volt, 200 milliamp our charger so if you have six batteries in there you really aren't going to be stressing that which is good and then the charger itself comes with six of the spacers that you can stack up in different combinations to put different sizes of batteries in there will be green lights for each one now they are it's really three XTAR 2 chargers in other words there are pairs so this first pair is one set and then two and then two. So they go together. So if I was charging the same battery, I would put them in the same pair with each other in that same channel. You put them in, they need to be charged. It'll go red, it goes green when they're fully charged. Now these are the same batteries, the same chemistry, same, uh, if you have a different one, I would put one in the first one of one channel or well, one in one channel and one in the other pair. If I had different types of batteries, I would probably do it that way just to be efficient. Now it will still monitor each bay separately, even if it's in the same pair, and stop charging one bay when the other one's charged. However, when there are two batteries charging in one pair, it will do the 1200 milliamp hour charging. Otherwise, it will only do the 600 milliamp hour. Now this is pretty much functionally the same as the XP two that I looked at a few weeks ago, except it has six bays. Um, the difference is it doesn't have any USB out, so it's not, which is kind of useless anyway. Um, it also does not have the switch that lets you choose between uh, 500 milliamp hour and one um, amp charging. So it's basically going to do if you have one, remember there are two, two, and two. It's basically three of the XP2s put together in just one box. Um, so if you only have one battery in a bay, it's going to do around 600 milliamp hour charging. Um, if you have two in there, it's going to do 1200 milliamp hours. Now, because of that, even though I could use these spacers to make it so I could put a 16 340 in here, um, I don't think I'm going to do that. You can pretty much look up your battery and see what rate it likes to be charged at, and charging it too fast is bad for it. So um, I pretty much don't use anything thinner than a 14500 or shorter than an 18350 in here. So pretty much this would be great for your 18350s, 18500s, 14500s, 18650s. Um, well, it says it can do the other ones and it probably would do them pretty well. I kind of prefer them in the other unit, which I can then switch to 500 milliamp hours, uh, 500 milliamp charging and give less power to the battery as it's going up. Otherwise, all of the safety features that are in the other unit are in this one. Um, it stops charging when they hit 4.2. It'll check it every once in a while and give it some more if it needs it, but it basically is not overcharging your batteries, which is good for them. Um, so all that stuff's in here. WP2, 6 bay, can use it in your car. Um, this one's a little more expensive, um, you know, but for 6 bays, that's pretty darn handy. Pretty, when I traveled this time, I only took two chargers with me. I took this one and the two-slot one. And that pretty much covered every battery I needed. And I had empty bays. That's like a first. Usually I'm taking like a couple of trust fires and the ultra fire for the little ones and it's crazy. But 
one. Anyway, um, pretty much, you know, some of the trust fires people have been reporting problems with them. You put one battery in and you know it's charged and it's green and then you stick another battery in and it, they both go red. Like it needs to be charged again, which is odd. Um, they don't stop charging when they reach that, which is kind of important for the lithium ion batteries that we use. So I prefer to use these two now or the Pila charger that I have, all of which when they get to 4.2 volts, stop giving them any more power. Battery safety. Thank you.